My name is Rick Hirschberger. I'm a vascular surgeon in Sarasota, Florida. Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, where today I'm going to talk about how lack of blood flow to the foot can lead to a wound to the foot. What I have diagrammed here is the normal circulation. You have your belly button right here, where the arteries divide in the pelvis to go to the leg. At the groin, it becomes what's called the femoral artery. At the knee, the popliteal artery. And then in the calf muscle, we have the tibial arteries that then feed blood flow into the foot itself. In the normal circulation, wounds don't tend to occur. However, blockages in various locations of the arteries can lead to a wound to the foot because you no longer have blood flow that goes straight to the foot. This blood flow ends up getting diverted into little collateral arteries around the blockage. You can have hundreds of these collateral arteries, but none of them will add up to one good wide open artery. So even though these collaterals are keeping blood flow going to the foot, their additive ability to bring enough blood flow to the foot to heal a wound is never sufficient. So that's where I come in because we try to go through these blockages with different techniques to open up the one big artery, which is way better than 10 or 20 small arteries going around it. The way we perform that is getting a wire that goes in from the other groin all the way down through all these blockages. We then take a balloon open up the blockage and put a stent in these areas if necessary. Now we have one big artery instead of 10 or 20 tiny arteries and that now brings a whole lot more blood flow down to the foot where hopefully this wound will heal. This is a minimally invasive procedure that can be performed in an outpatient setting, generally taking about two hours. So this is our whiteboard Wednesday discussing blockages in the artery to the leg leading to wounds how collateral flow develops around those blockages, but is never enough to heal a wound, but opening up that artery will bring enough blood flow to heal the wound. My name is Rick Hirschberger, vascular surgeon in Sarasota, Florida. This is our Whiteboard Wednesday. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below.